S&P 500 continues to pressure the upside. Before we start, a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by XNS, the world's largest retail brokerage firm offering ultra-fast execution and no overnight fees. Look for a link in the description below. The S&P 500 has been relatively quiet during the early hours on Wednesday, which makes a certain amount of sense, but it does look very positive overall. The main reason it makes sense that the S&P 500 has been quiet is the fact that Thursday, of course, is Independence Day in the United States. And then Friday, we have the jobs number. And the jobs number, of course, normally causes absolute chaos. I just don't see how that changes this time. So with that being the case, I like the idea of buying short-term pullbacks, taking advantage of value when it occurs. The... 5,450 level underneath is a major short-term support level, but if we break down below there, I see plenty of support underneath there as well. For example, we have the 50-day EMA that sits right around 5,350, and then we have the 5,300 level, which of course is a large round figure and has been important in the past. Ultimately, this is a market that I think, given enough time, will eventually go much higher. But at the end of the day, this is a market that uh, you know, might be a little overstretched. So it's a lot to ask for it to continue to go a lot higher in a very short amount of time. But I do think eventually value hunters return. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe.